Hey, come here. I have a little bit of behind the scenes action for you. You see, before I shoot my next video, I have one last job to do. I have to put wallpaper on this switch plate, you know, to make it blend in and look a little better. Luckily, it's really easy to do. I'm Megan Carter with Ask the Decorator. All right, so in order to cover a switch plate with wallpaper, the first thing you need to do is cut out a piece of wallpaper and match it up to where the switch plate will be. Make sure the piece you have is big enough to cover the switch plate, but not too big. There should only be an inch or two of excess wallpaper hanging over the edge of the switch plate. Next, put the switch plate on the wall and line up the wallpaper over the switch plate. Press your fingers against the wallpaper and switch plate and delicately pull them both away from the wall. Be very careful not to let the switch plate slip. Once they are down, fold the edges of the wallpaper over the switch plate. Put the switch plate up to the wall to see if the wallpaper lines up. If not, adjust it until it does. Once you've found the right positioning of the wallpaper on the switch plate, crease the wallpaper heavily around the switch plate. Then put the switch plate aside. All right, so to glue the wallpaper onto the switch plate cover, we'll be using a professional border adhesive. This stuff is normally used to glue wallpaper borders onto wallpaper, but we'll be using it for a switch plate. Now, to glue it on, you're gonna need a small brush. And you're gonna wanna dip the small brush into your glue. And then put it on here, and put it on thick, but only put it on the parts where the switch plate will be. Don't put it on any of this edge part. Put the switch plate down on the wallpaper and check to make sure you're not putting it upside down. Then press firmly and wrap the edges of the wallpaper around the switch plate. Next, check to make sure the wallpaper lines up. If it does, trim the edges of the wallpaper so they just curl over the edge of the switch plate. Glue them down and then cut holes where the switches will stick through. To do that, make a little slice in the center and then slice from the center to each corner. Fold the pieces in and glue them down. Let it dry for a few minutes, then screw it in and you're done. Doesn't that look beautiful? It looks so much better than the plain white switch plate. I'm Megan Carter, and this is Ask the Decorator. For more decorating tips and information on new decorating products, visit my website, askthedecorator.com.